Good evening, and welcome to the news tonight at 6. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has apologized to the families of the Ballymurphy victims in the House of Commons. Last week a coroner ruled that 10 people who died in Belfast in August 1971 were, entirely innocent. Mrs. Justice Keegan found that 9 of the 10 had been killed by soldiers and that the use of lethal force was not justified. The Ballymurphy families have angrily rejected a letter of apology from Mr. Johnson expressing his personal sorrow for the, terrible hurt that has been caused, by the deaths. Opening Prime Minister's questions on Wednesday, Mr. Johnson read out the names of the victims killed in West Belfast 50 years ago in shootings involving British soldiers. Another news. Medaran has issued two weather warnings for six counties ahead of stormy conditions on Thursday. The national forecaster is expecting high winds and heavy rain to hit southern and western parts of the country as we head into the weekend. Cork and Kerry will both be under a status yellow wind warning from midnight on Wednesday for 24 hours. A separate status yellow warning will also come into effect at midnight on Wednesday for 24 hours with Clare, Cork, Kerry, Waterford, Galway and Mayo included. Rainfall amounts of between 30 and 50 mm are expected. A Medaran forecaster said, Tomorrow, Thursday, will be a wet and windy day with widespread rain and fresh to strong and gusty southerly winds, with gales along southern and southwestern coasts. The rain will be heavy at times through the day with localized flooding possible, especially in Munster. Highest temperatures of 11 to 14 degrees. Next tonight. Coronation Street fans are now convinced Ronnie Bailey will buy the Rovers return for his mistress Jenny Connor. Last week the Sun Online revealed that the iconic pub will be put up for sale in an explosive new storyline. Untenable fans rejoiced today as Warwick Davis returned to the show, but they weren't happy for long. The 51-year-old actor has hosted the ITV quiz show since it began in 2016, but last month revealed actress Sally Lindsay would be standing in for him for a number of episodes. Finally, Northern Ireland will play Malta in a friendly in Austria on 31st of May. Ian Baraclough's side has been scheduled to face Turkey in a friendly in Antalya on the same date but that was cancelled after Turkey was put on the government's red list for travel. They'll now face Malta in match to be played behind closed doors at the Werthersee Stadium in Klagenfurt. Baraclau and his squad are due to travel to Austria for a training camp prior to the game. After facing Malta they will prepare for a second end-of-season friendly, which is against Ukraine on 3rd of June at the Dnipro Arena. That match will also be played behind closed doors. Baraclau, who will announce his squad next week, said the games would allow the players to regroup after a long season in sunnier climes and face off against some solid opposition. That's it very latest, English, UK, will be here at 10.30 in the night, for me and all team, go fuck yourself.